Warm and sunny conditions in the mid-30s greeted the players for the final round of the fourth running of the Asia-Pacific Amateur Championship at beautiful Amata Spring on the outskirts of Bangkok. Two-time defending champion Hideki Matsuyama from Japan tried his very best to retain his title with wonderful shots like that chip at the par 5 second that gave him a birdie. While another followed at the fifth, he could not make any great inroads on the leaders, his 68 forcing him to settle for fourth place on his own. The nearest overnight challenger, Oliver Goss of Australia, who was just two behind, and this was the pick of his efforts, an excellent second to the 14th. But the damage had been done on the front nine when he went out in 38. He shot a level par 72 to finish third at minus 12. The biggest challenge came from Chinese Taipei's Pan Cheng Chung, who shot a controlled 65 on the final day. This second shot to the par four sixth, giving him his fourth birdie in the opening six holes, and he turned in 33. It was a story of more low scoring on the back nine too, and this birdie yeah. at 15 was his fifth in six holes as he battled to close the gap on the overnight leader. His 65 posting an early target that would force the 14-year-old Guan Tianlang from Guangzhou to showcase his talents to the watching world audience. He shot 36 on the front nine, and with his putter running hot, he would pick up birdies at 11 and then at 14. However, a bogey at 16 left him one clear, and he needed to par the last two holes to win. Standing on the intimidating island green par 3 17th, he had to find the green, which he duly did, and a par would follow, which meant half the job was complete. But on the last, having missed the green right, he chipped down to here, so he was left with his 10-foot putt to win the crown. Calmness personified the first wire-to-wire -wire winner of the Asia-Pacific Amateur Championship, and the prize is a berth at Augusta National in April. He'll be the youngest ever player to compete at the Masters. Congratulations to Guan Tianlang. We're bound to hear a lot more about him in the future.